How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today I wanted to talk about just trying to find the positive in the days and months after you've quit drinking. You know, look for positives instead of looking for uh, negatives. Uh, you know, it's so very easy to look and to pick out the negatives. Especially in those first few days when you're going through the hangover, when you know that there's an easy solution to this to just go back on what you're on what you used to do, you know, uh, to go back and pick up where you left off, to get a six pack, a couple of cans, or whatever it is that you want, and all your troubles are going to go away. Well, that's just bullshit because for a start, your troubles ain't going to go away because you're going to have the same thing tomorrow. You're going to have the same thing the next day. You're going to have the same thing next week or next month. The only difficult difference is that those things that happen to you in the next month or the next week are going to be more difficult, right? You're going to find it a lot more difficult to handle. Not just because the habit is taking one step away from where you are now, but also because you gave in and once you give in once right it becomes a lot easier to give in the second time uh, to give in the third time you get into a habit of giving in and that's dangerous you know that's something that's likely to uh, you know to really fuck you up in the long term because you know not only have you got the the part where you've given in you've also got the issue of uh, you know, you're thinking about why you gave in. You're thinking about uh, yourself and your abilities, and you know, it's just uh, it's something that's always going to give you give you problems. You know, you're also going to be thinking about why you gave in and what happened, what made you give in, what was the the issue with it. Uh, this is what I used to do for a job. I'm up around the forestry here, and I don't know if you can see in there. I'm cutting the inspection lines into the trees. Oh, yeah. It just brings me right back. Jesus, five years as if it was yesterday. You know, I suppose in, in certain aspects. This is where I spent my life, my working life was in these forests. My brother once said to me, he said, this is your, uh, this is your office. <laughs> Very strange. Came back anyway, you know, it's, when you don't give in and when you look for the positive things, you know, I mean, there are going to be days when you just feel like shit and you, you feel like, you know, there's nowhere left to go that you're sort of failing in whatever you're doing. But there's going to be other days where you just feel really good. So I think that's it for today. Just try and keep positive, you know. If you're getting cravings, I think on the positive side of it, you know, it's the old habit trying to, trying to claw its way back into your life. You know, if you... Um, are getting people who are asking you to to take a drink, you know, just take it as an excuse to practice saying no. You're going to have to say no a lot of times in your life once you've stopped drinking alcohol. You're going to have to. There's no choice about it. But you can do it. It's not that difficult, you know. You know, when you look at it like you have to say no for the rest of your life, it's a big risk, it's a big... At risk it's a big uh, it's a big ask you know when you start looking at it from the perspective of taking things day by day by day taking things situation by situation by situation then it's a lot easier to handle and it's the same way you've got to look at your cravings uh, same way you've got to look at anything in your life you know, if you want to advance in any way, in shape or form, you've got to just push yourself forward step by step by step. Anyway, rambling. 
So we're going to quit here. Until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Take care of yourself. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Onwards and upwards. Good luck. Bye now.